You're listening to Praying with Power and Purpose. Shalom, shalom, loved ones. Welcome to another episode of Praying with Power and Purpose. It is Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Elohim, to Yeshua, his son, and Ruach Elohim, the Holy Spirit of God, who is living on this earth in us, with us, to work the power of God in us, through us, and for us. We thank you for your angels that minister to us who are heirs to salvation. We thank you for this Shemitah year. We thank you for this season of wealth transfer. And we thank you that it is harvest season. Lord, you have set up and prepared so many wonderful things for us. We have no choice but to be blessed, receive it, and walk in joy. We love you. We love you. We love you, Abba. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done. And Holy Spirit, you are my best friend, and I appreciate you greatly. All right, loved ones, we have lots of stuff going on in life and in ministry and in business right now. This is a very, very exciting time to be alive. So first of all, um, I sent out a ministry email this week because the ministry, 1123 Ministries official, turned one year old on July 9th. Woo woo. We are one year old. So we just praise God and we're thank you to everybody who supported us and who partners with us for a wonderful year. And thank you for the opportunity to um, help us level up the body spiritually and financially, because that is what we do in this ministry. We want you to rise up, understand who you are in Christ and live that way. All right. So um, I want to remind you that 2022 can be the best year of your life if you want it to be. At my conference, Supernatural U 5782 in October last year, that was the message that I taught because when I was praying and asking Holy Spirit for the message, of course, he was talking about money, money, money over and over and over again. But um, when he finally gave me a message, he said, um, well, it's really simple. 2022 and 5782 can be the best year of your life if you want it to be. You have enough promises from God. You have enough prophetic words. You have enough Bible. You have enough faith. You have enough everything to make this the best year of your life if you want it to be. And I said, yes. And so I started, you know, meditating on that and trying to figure out what will make this the best year of my lives, being that I already have everything that I need. And it was just a matter of making some decisions. So these are the things that we are teaching in our ministry this year so that you can have the best year of your life. And this has been the best year of my life by far. Um, number one, believe Yahweh is a little child. When God says something, believe it. Stop, just stop trying to figure it out. Just stop trying to spiritualize things that are supposed to be literal. Stop trying to liter- make a literal things that are spiritual and just believe what God says. If you are living spirit first, which is what we teach in our ministry, you're going to be able to hear something that comes from the Lord and you're going to believe it without argument because your spirit is immediately connected to Holy Spirit by an umbilical cord and it can understand what Holy Spirit is saying. It has perfect discernment if you give your spirit the authority and opportunity to live as the boss. If you are somebody who lives out of the human mind or out of the human soul, which is your will, emotions, uh, you know, your mind, will, emotions, intellect, or out of your body or something like that, you know what, I don't, you know, emotions, I, I don't think that feels right or whatever, because that's the type of society that we live in. Well, how does that make you feel? And I understand how you're feeling and whoop de whoop de whoop when there's nothing about that in the written word that talks about you're supposed to be living about living how you feel, you know, if people were taught that to live out of their spirit instead of out of how they feel, there'd be a lot less uh, foolishness going on as far as gender is concerned, you know, anyway, back to what I was saying. So if you allow your spirit to be the boss, then you will know if something coming to you is coming from the throne of God or not. You'll know if, it, if somebody has put their personal spin on it. Because your spirit knows immediately everything that comes from the Lord because your spirit came from the Lord. So it's basically, you know, like mothers and children know each other right off the start because they've been hearing that voice, you know, the whole time they were in the womb. Well, the same thing with your human spirit. Your human spirit exists as a ball of light in the father, inside the father. So you're hearing his voice. Your spirit is hearing his voice and knowing how he operates before it is released to the earth into your mother's womb. So when it's released to the earth into your mother's womb, it still knows what the father's voice sounds like. And it's expecting you to yield to the voice of God, whether you are a believer or not. The spirit's expectation is that you yield to the spirit of God and his voice and do what you're supposed to do. And this is confirmed when Jesus said, my sheep know my voice, they hear me and another, they will not follow. So you can't tell me that your spirit 
it has to be taught to hear the voice of God. It does not. Jesus already told you that his sheep know his voice. They hear it and they will not follow another. All right. So we also agree with and decree his promises. If God says that he's the God of exceeding abundantly above all we can think, hope or imagine, we agree with that and we speak that out in our lives. We don't say, oh, well, I might not have enough. That doesn't align with what God's word says. Jesus said in John 10, 10, I came to give life and life abundantly. So if you're saying anything other than what God says, then it's your own fault that 2022 and 5782 are not the best years of your life is because you're speaking wrong things. Wrong things are going to get you wrong results. Plain and simple. This is a verse activated universe. You better ask somebody. Next, we refuse to listen to demonic lies. Yeah, the enemy will come up and tell you all kind of things. Oh, well, maybe you're a girl, but you look like a boy. Well, maybe you're a boy, but you look like a girl. That's the enemy's lie. Stop listening to that type of foolishness. You know, it's okay for men to lie together. Stop listening to that type of foolishness. It's okay to have sex before you get married. As long as you're going to get married, stop listening to that foolishness. Those are demonic lies. Don't listen to that. Oh, those aren't Kim trails in the air. Stop listening to demonic lies. They're lying to you. Oh, the government is not trying to keep you poor, impoverished, and as a slave. Stop lying to demonic lies, right? Okay. Next one, demand your covenant be upheld and enforced. Okay. So this is the thing about the relationship with Jesus Christ. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you come into covenant relationship that is spoken about throughout the book of Genesis and throughout the written word. The written word is a book of covenant. You need to understand that. And so if you are not experiencing the benefits of the covenant, it's because you're not demanding that your covenant be upheld and enforced. This is a participatory relationship. Covenant means it's about honor, right? One person does this, the other person does this, and then everybody benefits mutually. So you're supposed to be seeking the kingdom first, and then God releases all the other things to you. So if you don't have all the other things being released to you, I can guarantee you, you are not seeking the kingdom first. And you know why I can say that? Because it's written twice in the word. Um, Psalm 37, 4 and Matthew 6, 33. He is required. If you seek the kingdom first, it is a law, a spiritual law. It is written into the framework of the universe that he is to add everything else to you, right? It is a law. He cannot be separated from his word and he cannot go against his word. He upholds all things by the word of his power. That's Hebrews 11 or maybe Hebrews 1. I forget those numbers and things, you know, one, one, 11 kind of get you messed up. Um, anyway, so if you're, if you are not having all those things added to you, it's your own fault. It's not his fault. Call for and capture the wealth of the wicked. This is a season of wealth transfer right now. You better be doing exactly that. I'm constantly calling for and capturing the wealth of the wicked. And I get it often regularly on a regular basis. All right. There are also two new posts up on the prophecy page. If you go to 1123.life and then up in the menu, click on prophecy, which is the blog portion. There's a prophetic word about marriage there that I received on June 29th. And there's another um, encounter when I that I, you know, just just um, walking with the Lord and some things that he spoke to me are written there for you. All right. So we have a more marriage courts of heaven session Thursday, July 14th. That's tomorrow. So if you want to attend, you better register right now, right now, right now. Go to 1123.life and click on shop up in the corner. It's free if you are a 1123 ministries seed partner. So if you sow into the ministry every month, you can take that course for free. If you purchased either of my for him or for her praying while you're waiting books, ebook or paperback from me, not from Amazon, then you can take it free or you can order the book right then. And even if you don't have the book, you can still get placed into the workshop. And then the last thing is to pay a fee for the workshop. And it's to your benefit and to your blessing to take this workshop if you would like to get married. And let me tell you why. I went into the courts of heaven. I was praying and asking the Lord to show me what he had for me one day in the beginning of June. And when I went in, I'm used to seeing the ministry book. You know, everything God wants me to do for the ministry at that time is usually open before me. But this time I got to walk in and see uh, my sweetheart's Psalm 139, 16 destiny book. And so I was shocked, you know, because usually you only get to look at somebody's book. Well, I've never looked at anybody's book before. I've been prophesying to people for, you know, since the 2000s, you know. And yet I didn't, uh, I've never seen, actually seen anybody's book before. I've just, you know, been able to have 
some things that are written in it revealed to me so that I could prophesy to them, you know, portions of their destiny and whatnot. So that's all prophecy is. You you know, somebody, Psalm 139, 16 book, something that's written in it is being released to you and you just reveal that to them as a prophetic word. That's what it is. So you know how they say, oh, this prophet read my mail. That's all they're doing. The Lord opened their book, you know, released something that was in it and you spoke it out. Okay. So I go up to heaven and I see his book and I'm like, what? Because this is the awesome thing about looking to see what's written in heaven as it is in heaven. Remember? So when you see something that's written in heaven that the Lord has decreed about any situation, you can then say it is written. And what does it is written do? It slaps the enemy upside the head. It slaps the enemy upside the head. You remember Jesus told Satan when he was in the wilderness being tested or upside tempted, um, it is written. And then the enemy didn't, couldn't argue with that because the enemy can't overturn what the Lord says, as long as you're willing to enforce it. So it makes sense that you know what it is in heaven so that you can then declare it and have it manifest on the earth. Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Saints. So I got to see his Psalm 139, 16 book. And then after I got to see his book and I started declaring what I saw in his book for a couple of days, the next thing you know, I got to meet his personal angel. So I introduced his angel to my angel and told them, you know, you guys are going to be working together to build the kingdom. So get to know each other, start, you know, start working together, all that good stuff. So it was really awesome. But anyway, I show you how to step in, how to get some revelation. And then once you learn, you do that every day for your life, get revelation from the Lord, you know, as often as you want to, you hop up there and look and see what the Lord has for you. Ephesians 2, 6 tells us that your spirit is seated with heavenly, with Christ in heavenly places, right? So your spirit's already there. You can see into the spiritual realm very easily. All you have to do is basically it, it's, I say, just look in, you know, look into the spiritual realm, but it, I mean, it's all about you and how you've been trained and what you allow your spirit to do and how open your eyes are and what you will accept. You know, a lot of people, they get a glimpse into the spiritual realm and then they say, no, I don't want to see that stuff anymore. So they, the enemy signs a contract and closes off their spiritual sight for years and years and years until they decide enough is enough. And then they want to get deliverance and come back into the spiritual realm. So don't be saying dumb stuff like that. You know, God, Jesus himself said that you will give an account for every idle word, which means that there are no idle words, AKA every word that you speak is recorded in the heavenly realm. And if the enemy can use it, it's recorded in the demonic realm as well. So watch your mouth, right? Especially in a voice activated kingdom um, universe. It, it's really dumb for you to go out there saying stupid stuff about yourself. Matter of fact, I had to repent today, yesterday, June 12th, July 12th, excuse me about something that I had spoken about my kiddo and I was in heaven doing some work and the Lord was brought that to my attention and was like, you need to fix this because this will stop him from doing things. So I had to repent of that and put that under the blood and release blessing and all that stuff. But that was taken care of. Yeah. So don't be just saying willy nilly and stupid stuff and stop saying things that the world says, you know, I was thinking about that earlier, you know, um, the world because of Cheryl Sandberg says lean in. And now the body of believers just started saying lean in instead of press in you know, to the body of Christ. Now we're saying lean into that and stuff like that. We need to stop trying to repeat after what the world is doing. If they don't know God, they shouldn't be telling us nothing at all. They should be asking us for everything. That's how the kingdom is supposed to be set up. And we're supposed to be bringing the kingdom to earth. All right, loved ones. We are also reading through Proverbs this month. I have a book called, Oh Lord, Teach Me Your Ways, a book of Proverbs devotional. And you can download the ebook free right now. If you go to payhip.com forward slash Ms. Banks, and that's M-I-Z-B-A-N-K-S. And, um, you can read through Proverbs with us, read one proverb a day. So today is the 13th. So you read Proverbs 13. Tomorrow's the 14th. You read Proverbs 14 and read it with your children. Don't just read it for yourself. I raised my son reading one proverb to him a night. And this kid is wise beyond his years. Let me tell you. And he's also blessed because if you get wisdom, you get wealth. That's the biblical, um, precedent and process. All right. Don't forget to join us on Saturdays at 8 p.m. Eastern as we feast on the written word. You can view the live stream. We participate as the active ecclesia and we read through the word and get revelation and learn about covenant and whatever the Lord has for us to speak about or do that day. It's a really good time. All right. And every Sunday, unless under what otherwise indicated, and then there are some times that there, you know, it is indicated that there's no prayer, but we have a weekly prayer call at 6 p.m. Eastern, 605-313-5152. And the code is 534-484-POUND sign. And what we're doing is we just step into the realms of heaven to see whatever it is the Lord has to see, has to show each of us individually about our lives, about anything else. 
And then we have a way to move forward through the week because, you know, the Lord will either show you something or tell you something or introduce you to something or give you something or tell you to work on something. And then you have a focus for the week that will bring extraordinary blessing into your life. So if you want to learn how to walk and explore the realms of heaven, then join us for prayer on Saturday. If you, I'm sorry, on Sundays, if you ever come onto the call and you're hearing silence, we're all, um, exploring the realms of heaven. We're meeting with the father, with spirit, with angels, with whoever is meeting with us at the time. So just stay on and listen. And the replays are all available. If you go to 1123.live, click on the menu up above, hover over Holy Spirit Boot Camp, and right underneath Holy Spirit Boot Camp, the second option is prayer calls. And you can listen to those replays. Listen, some of those replays, I've given some amazing prophetic words and some amazing revelation has been dropped on me right there. Like the revelation about the blood being a path and angels that travel on the blood path and um, all kind of other things, um, good revelations that, uh, you know... um, that have been released now, I was receiving, you know, in the past, like I got that relation back in 2020 about the blood being a bridge and a path and a road and angels traveling on the road. And then I heard an apostle um, teaching about that earlier this year. And I was like, dude, I've already, I, I got that revelation a long time ago. And it's funny because he's, he's so cute when he's teaching. He's always like, you ain't never heard that before, have you? And I was like, yeah, I have heard that one because you know, the Lord gave that one to me back in 2020, but like those prayer calls, they're all over there on the website or either on YouTube and you can um, look them up. My channel is Zari Banks Inc. INC and INC like Charlie, and you can watch those prayer calls. But I mean, I know it's kind of weird to be listening to a prayer call replay, but listen, the way I flow in revelation, it's worth it into your benefit because the prof- prophetic words that come out and all that stuff may be exactly what you need at any given time. So, um, yeah, check out those prayer calls and, uh, Join us on Sundays at 6 p.m. Eastern if you have time. We do have free dream interpretation practice every first Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And this is we're not going to be able to get to this until September 5th because we've got uh, we had July 4th, which was the first Monday of this month. And that was a holiday, of course, so we didn't get together. And then next month we'll be in Texas. The ministry will be in Texas. So we'll start on September 5th. And if you would like to register for that, please go to Zari Banks. Dot VIP to register for free dream interpretation practice. Listen, I am a dreamer. I'm a seer prophet. I have been a dreamer and I've had dreams, you know, that I've manifested that I, I only started paying attention to my dreams like that when I was in high school. And I used to, I had a friend that I used to share my dreams with almost every day because I used to dream so much and we'd talk about them and stuff. And, and they thought they were often weird, but they were spiritual dreams. That's why they seem weird to the lay person. But so many of my dreams came true. They were like, wow, you're you know, someone, this one girl just called me a fortune teller because the way my dreams come true. But, um, my dreams, I have amazing, amazing dreams. And right now we're in a season of dreams. This is why father asked me to uh, start teaching interpretation again, because he's pouring out dreams like gray. Are you kidding me? Listen, I have been dreaming so much and I don't know how you know about what you know about dreamers, but prophetic dreamers, like we, we, when sometimes we're dreaming so much and those dreams are so involved and our spirits are talking and we're praying in tongues as we're sleeping, all that stuff. We don't get good sleep. So I haven't had good sleep for the last, um, probably like a week, maybe a week and a half because of all the dreams and stuff that I've been having. And they have just been wild and long and involved and all kind of stuff. Um, some of the dreams that I've had lately, I had this dream where this couple, a man and a wife came to me for prayer and they were saying, you know, we're trying to do something, but we have this hit on our record. And so until, you know, we can't get past it. They say, you know, I don't know if they were trying to get a job and it was like a felony or if they were trying to buy a house and they had like a bankruptcy or something on their thing, but whatever it was, they couldn't attain whatever desire of their heart they had. And so they asked me to pray for them. And in the dream, I went to the courts of heaven and asked that that thing be moved off of their record. And it was, and I came back to them and I said, okay, it's done. You can go and, you know, apply again. You'll get it this time. And so that happened in the dream. And then the next day I was in, um, um, studying some of my mentors resources. And of course there is a, a special place in the courts of heaven where you can actually go to get things removed from your record. So the father's good like that. He introduced me to something you know, and then confirm in a dream and then confirmed that the, its existence the next day, you know, by somebody who does, you know, teaches and, and moves in revelation the same way that I do. So that was really cool. Um, another dream that I had, I was sharing recently that I dream about people that I am to give them the prophetic word that they're going to be millionaires. 
And so, uh, you know, um, I was, you know, people say I make millionaires, but I literally make millionaires because all I'm doing is giving them the word of the Lord. As long as they do what he says, they're going to be millionaires. And so, um, you know, I was sharing that I have had a dream about somebody just recently, so, but I haven't delivered the word to them yet. So I haven't published that one. And, but the last time I did it and the word I've already delivered to them was April 16th. I had a dream that this lady um, showed me her bank account for some reason. I don't know why. And there was like 46 cents in one account and some other change in another account, like 98 cents, something like that. And I was like, that's not enough for a believer in Jesus. You should have millions. And then um, something happened in the dream. And then we get back together. She, she's like, look, shows me her accounts again. And she had millions of dollars in those accounts. So, um, that was a prophetic word for her. So as soon as I woke up from that, I, you know, I contacted her and I said, I dreamed about you. I got this word of the Lord. So, um, you are supposed to be a millionaire. Just follow him, follow his instructions and it will be so. So, um, I also make millionaires in the natural because, you know, there's this trend going on right now on YouTube videos and stuff where people are saying, well, don't shop at Starbucks and don't shop here and don't do this and do this because they're all devil worshipers and all that stuff. Well, duh. You know, everybody worships something. But the thing is, if you try to start cutting out that type of stuff and say, oh, we can't shop there. You can't shop there. You can't shop there. You won't be able to shop anywhere because the body of Christ has dropped the ball. So one thing we have to understand is that God is not showing you that stuff just so that you don't shop there. He's also showing you that stuff to try to wake you up and get you to realize that as a believer, you're supposed to be creating the businesses and the hospitals and the corporations and all that stuff. And everybody comes to you so that people are not getting caught up in witchcraft, but we have dropped the ball because we're always like, Oh no, Christians don't do business and Christians aren't supposed to be in politics and Christians aren't supposed to be in control. We're just supposed to be evangelizing and whoop de whoop and all this stuff. Well, we're seeing that that, that uh, lie that has been sold to us that we're just supposed to be quiet little people doing our own thing, staying in our church walls doesn't work. The world has, has conquered us and we're just now starting to wake up and realize that we're supposed to be taking over and in control. So that's what I do. That's why I have VIP. What I do is, um, instead of complaining about Starbucks and them worshiping idols and, 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 you know, the queen of heaven and all that stuff, then what I do is I say, okay, well, let's you and I get together, brainstorm with the Lord, go into the courts of heaven, get the blueprints and see how you can become a multimillionaire and you can out do Starbucks or whatever industry you want to be on, be in, right? That's the whole point of, of, of what I do as a marketplace minister. That's exactly what I do. So you don't have to say, don't shop here. Don't shop there. Listen, if you took out everybody who worshiped idols or sacrificed to idols, you wouldn't be able to eat anything. You'd be like John the Baptist living out in the wilderness, eating locusts and honey and wearing, you know, animal skins. That's how serious it is out there because the body of Christ has dropped the ball. And, and it doesn't make any sense because the Bible is all about business, owning your own farm, producing your own food, making your own stuff, selling stuff to other people. It's not about you having to go everywhere else to get everything else. But then that's how we farm out uh, a spiritual study, too. We always are running to somebody else to teach us something as opposed to just sitting down, getting and developing our relationship with the Godhead so that he can teach us everything that he wants to teach us. Do you realize that there is so much revelation available in God's realm that every Christian on the earth could have a different piece of revelation that has never been discovered anywhere else. But you're not going to get your peace until you start to sit down with the Lord and develop that relationship. He doesn't give secrets to everybody. You have to earn those secrets. You have to show yourself approved to get the secrets, the mysteries of the kingdom. If you don't have a mystery, it's because you don't have a deep, developed, intimate relationship. I get mysteries all the time, but I love them. I'd rather spend time with them than doing anything else. Right. You need to get to that place, too. You know, I have a running dialogue with somebody in the spiritual realm all day, every day, all day, every day. If I'm not talking to the angels, then I'm talking to Holy Spirit. If I'm not talking to Holy Spirit, I'm talking to Father. If I'm not talking to him, I'm talking to Jesus. That should be your life, too. You, you say, oh, I can't do that because I got to do this job and all that stuff. Well, that's our fault, too, because God didn't say anywhere in the Bible that you're supposed to be, you know, slaving as somebody else's employee for 40 hours a week just to survive you're supposed to be a producer, not just a consumer, right? But if you're an employee, you're just a, you're just a consumer. 
You're supposed to be producing things. You're supposed to be a distribu- distribution center. And I talk about that in VIP. So if you want, are interested in building a million dollar business for the kingdom, which is very, very easy to do. The Lord gave me a very, very easy five step strategy to make a million dollars. It's really, really easy to do because the money's already in the earth and all you have to do is sow seed. That's all you have to do. But join VIP. It's over at ZariBanks.VIP. You can sign up for it. It's $100. And um, you can get in there and learn all those supernatural business strategies. It's actually called a supernatural business incubator. All you have to do is go in there and read those strategies and things that the Lord has given me, put them into practice and become a millionaire. It's really, really easy. Money's already in the earth. It's not like it has to be reproduced. There's billions of it. You see the way money flies around. There's, you know, people say they're struggling, the economy is wrong and stuff like that, but nobody has stopped spending. All right. The people who are, uh, who need things, they're going to buy things. You just have to learn how to get in God's economy and get out of this Babylonian system. Listen, I paid $3 and 73 cents for, or 78 cents, something like that for my gas this evening, yesterday evening when I was filling up my car. That's the kingdom system, saints. That's available to you. You better get in it, get out of this Babylonian system and stop listening to all the foolishness that people who know nothing about God are telling you. If you are a believer in Jesus, you should not be getting your news first from no man who doesn't serve the Lord. You get your news from God first and then you just take what you need from them and throw everything else away. You don't have to be struggling. You don't have to be experiencing lack and shortages and all that stuff. You can overcome that. It's very, very easy if you just do what God tells you to do. And he's put so much stuff in the word, not everything, but so much stuff in the word. You can prosper just from listening to the word, just from getting the word down in you and doing what it says, believing God. And then if you develop the relationship, the intimacy, then you can get to a place that, you know, nobody can gainsay. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can block you. Nobody can hinder you. Nothing like that. Anyway. So, and you can't couple, don't complain about VIP costing a hundred dollars. Cause when I started advertising it at the beginning of the year, it was only 25. I increased the price as we went along up until July 1st, because that's half the year over. And then it went up to a hundred dollars. So you could have been learning strategies to become a millionaire in a year because God can do it for you in one week. You know how it is where some people put a, something out, out for sale and it'll sell out in two hours and stuff like that. God can do that with you. If you have faith, if you're willing if you're willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. That's what Isaiah one nineteen says. It's all you. Joshua one eight says, if you meditate on the word constantly, keep it before you and uh, do what it says. And that's Rhema and Logos. And then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. It's you. Jesus already said yes. God already said yes to all of the promises. They're all yes and amen as soon as you accept Jesus. So you have no excuse. It's you. It's really, really you. And I'm telling you, as somebody who used to be homeless living in a 2002 Honda Civic, it is you. It's you. It's not God holding you back. It's not people holding you back. It's you. So get yourself together and get what you want. This is God's world. This is not the devil's world. This is not demon's world. You get out there and act like an active member of the ecclesia and start taking some territory for your father, especially during the season of wealth transfer. There's tons of wealth transfer happening right now, and it should be coming your direction as opposed to leaving you and going into the hands of the world. All right. So just some things to remember. This is a Shemitah year. You have access to supernatural debt cancellation as a covenant, right? So don't stay in debt another day. I make millionaires. I'm telling you, that's what I do. Join VIP if you would like to be a millionaire to build the kingdom of God. All right. Wealth transfer, like I said, is happening right now. I have a prophetic word about homes and land that I'm going to be releasing to VIPs on Sunday, July 17th, 2022. And we're going to go up to the courts of heaven and do some work with that. Um, Jesus already broke you through. You need to be focused on receiving overflow. And also every demon principality and power has already been defeated by Jesus. So stop allowing them to cause havoc in your life realms. Rise up in spirit and take authority. All right, loved ones, I bless you in Jesus' name. I pray something here blessed you. And I'll be back again next Wednesday with another episode of Praying with Power and Purpose. Don't forget to visit me at www.1123.life. Take care. For nothing, because God takes care of everything. Hi, this is Zari. If you've enjoyed supping on the Word of God with me today, I invite you to partner with me in this kingdom work. Your partnership in this fertile soil gives you legal access to every anointing my ministry operates in multiply because that's my decree for you. Thank you and be exceedingly blessed in Jesus' name. Copyright 
2022, Zari Banks, Inc.